friends, this video on motion in a plane part 17 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. Please make sure that you have watched all the videos from part 1 to part 16 before going ahead with part 17. So let us look at the problem 1. It says the position of a particle is given by R is equal to. So let us look at problem 1. It says the position of a particle is given by R is equal to 3T i cap plus 2T square j cap plus 5K cap where t is in seconds and the coefficients have the proper units for r to be in meters. That means the position is in meters. So you have to find v of t that is the velocity at time t and acceleration at time t of the particle. In the second part, find the magnitude and direction of velocity at t is equal to 1 second. So let us try to solve it one by one. So let us look at the first part first. So in the first part, First of all, we see that R is equal to 3T i cap plus 2T square j cap plus 5K cap, right? So, in the first part, we have to find out velocity at time t. So, what would be velocity? Velocity at a particular instant of time, if you look at it carefully. That means we have to find out instantaneous velocity. So instantaneous velocity is nothing but dr by dt as we have derived. So dr by dt of this would be d by dt of 3t i cap plus 2t square j cap plus 5k cap. Now you just differentiate it. So it would be 3i cap plus 4t j cap. Right. So this is your velocity at any instant of time t. Now in the in the first part it also asks about the acceleration at any instant t. So the acceleration would be nothing but dv by dt. So v we have already calculated. So this will become d by dt of 3i cap plus 4t j cap. So this will become 4 j cap. So this would be the value of acceleration or instantaneous acceleration. So we solved the first part. Now let us look at the second part. It asks find the magnitude and direction of velocity at t is equal to 1 second. So at t is equal to 1 second, what would be the value of vt? That is v at t is equal to 1 second would be, we will put the value of t is equal to 1 in this expression, right? So this will become 3i plus 4j. Now you have to calculate the magnitude and velocity. Now what would be the magnitude? Magnitude would be root over vx square plus vy square. That means root over 3 square plus 4 square. So this would be equal to 9 plus 16. So this is equal to root over 25 or we can say this is equal to 5. That means the magnitude of velocity would be equal to 5 meter per second. Now what about the direction? When we talk of direction, it is given by tan theta is equal to Vy by Vx, right? The direction is given by tan theta is equal to Vy by Vx. So what is Vy here? Vy is 4 and Vx is 3. So this is equal to 4 by 3. That means theta is equal to tan inverse 4 by 3. So that means the direction of velocity is given by theta is equal to tan inverse 4 by 3. So it makes an angle of theta. So this is how we calculated the values of velocity and acceleration. If you look at it, it is not at all complex. All you need to remember is what are the relationships of velocity, replacement and acceleration with each other and you have to put the correct things in place. We will look at the next problem now. Problem 2 says a man swims heading right across a river for a length of 0.6 km in a certain time while the river flows 0.4 km in the same time. Find his resultant portion or change of position. 
so here what do we have it says that there is a river which flows 0.4 km in the same time in which the man heads towards the river and covers a length of 0.6 km now let us suppose that the river flows in this direction and we say that the river covered 0.4 km in this direction the man who is trying to cross the river let us suppose the man starts from here so the man starts from here he covers 0.6 km while crossing the trying to cross the river so you have to find his resultant motion now think it logically suppose if the man is moving in this direction and the river is flowing in this direction so the man will be pushed a bit in this direction so the resultant his resultant flow will become somewhere around this direction so the same thing happens here so his resultant flow would be given by this vector that is in this direction so if we say that the man starts at o and if the other bank of the river is say a and if this point is b then ob will represent his resultant flow that means ob will represent his resultant motion right ob will represent his resultant motion so first we will calculate the magnitude of ob and then we will calculate find out its direction its direction we can find out by evaluating this angle theta that means at what angle from horizontal direction he will move right so first let us focus on the magnitude so when it comes to magnitude this angle is 90 degree now it says that the man travels 0.4 km and 0.6 km they both are in the same time so we can say that the velocity is 0.4 km per hour this is also 0.6 km per hour because they are in the same time so we assume that it covered 0.4 km in 1 hour so this also covered 0.6 km in 1 hour so we can say the velocity of the river is 0.4 km per hour and the velocity of the man with which he wanted to cross the river is 0.6 km per hour so while calculating the magnitude we can say that this is our resultant so we can say that the resultant r the magnitude of resultant r would be equal to root over 0.4 square plus 0.6 square we have done nothing but simply applied the pythagoras theorem so using that we can say that this is equal to 0.52 which is equal to 0.7211 so that means the magnitude of the resultant motion is equal to this so this much kilometer per hour so the resultant speed of the man would be 0.7211 kilometer per hour now what about direction when we talk of direction tan theta is equal to perpendicular by base what is the perpendicular here if this is theta this would be the perpendicular so this is equal to 0.6 km per hour and what is the base what would be the base base is nothing but 0.4 km so this would be equal to 3 by 2 or we can say theta is equal to tan inverse 1.5 which is approximately equal to 56 degree 19 minutes so that means this person will move making an angle theta of 56 degree 19 minutes with the x axis so this would be his resultant motion so the resultant displacement or the resultant change in position is Uh, well, friends, here I have made a mistake. Here, this was not the velocity. Here, we talked only about the distance covered. So, this was in kilometers. This is also in kilometer. And this resultant motion 
whatever we calculated this was nothing but the displacement so we calculated this displacement here so here we had nothing to do with the velocity so by mistake i told you velocity so here we are calculating only the displacement so displacement was the distance from initial and final position so it, we applied pythagoras theorem and this was our displacement and while calculating the direction of displacement we calculated the value of theta now i hope it is clear to you now okay now let us go ahead thank you please visit examfear.com to watch free educational videos try free online tests get the best quality study materials study from the best tutors and mentors and much more thank you once again